On this episode of Hot Rod Unlimited, we're gonna find out if the world's most badass 69 Camaro can outrun the world's most badass new Camaro. Today we're at Gingerman Raceway, which is in South Haven, Michigan, and it's a place where a lot of pro touring competitions go on and a place where a lot of the OEs test their new cars. And so we're going to put those two things together. We have pro touring superhero Mark Stilo and his 69 Camaro called the Red Devil. This car is the ultimate of taking brand new components off of late model cars and parts from the aftermarket and putting them on a 40 something year old skin to see if you can make the ultimate 69 Camaro that both handles and can be driven any day, any time with a stereo and air conditioning. So we're gonna pit that car against the brand new ZL1 Camaro, which as you know is the top of the line, most radical street Camaro that you can get from Chevrolet. But the question is, which car outruns which car here at Gingerman? Mark Stilo's been around the pro touring industry for a long time. As a matter of fact, I photographed his first 69 Camaro in 1992. And since then, he has built a bunch of really famous Camaros that are just at the top of the pack. He's also a GM engineer and was actually involved in the development of the ZL1. And he's a suspension engineer. He really knows what's going on. He was the best guy to test out both of these cars, but we had to make sure that he was not gonna sandbag it. Mark is hooking up a V-Box onto the car, which is for data logging, so we can see exactly what's going on on track, and I'm gonna get in with him for the first couple laps while the track's wet and see if we can go dry it out a little bit. The other thing is, and I know people are gonna ask this, what's your personal agenda here? What are you gonna sandbag? Do you make this car look good to save your job, or do you make your car look good to be a superhero? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do my best in both. So you're going to drive the same in each one? I'm going to go as hard as I can. So it's no lift shift. Oh, really? Yeah, it's cool. Is it programmed for that? Yeah. Is your car also? No. It, it is, but I don't like doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a few warm-up laps with Stilo and the ZL1, the thing that's evident is that this car is going to be disadvantaged because of its weight and because it only makes 580 horsepower, and he's got a lot more than that. But he's really up against technology here, because the new Camaro is wider, which makes it handle better, but it also has independent rear suspension, which the 69 does not, and Chevy's magnetic ride setup, which is an advanced system of controlling the shock, jounce, and rebound actively as you're going around corners. We did all of our testing with the Camaro in performance setting number five. Next up, I hopped in the Red Devil. This is my first time ever in this car. I really only know it by reputation because it has won a bunch of these pro touring shootouts. As a matter of fact, right here at Gingerman, the weekend prior to this, it outran every other muscle car there by about three seconds on the lap time. My perception is this thing takes a lot more skill to drive fast. Oh yeah. The Red Devil is obviously just more violent and brutal than the ZL1. It makes a lot more noise, it sounds wicked, it's got more horsepower, it seems trickier to drive. It doesn't ride quite as well and you can tell that Stilo is just muscling the thing around the corners more. Overall it's a more raw driving experience and yet still the tightest 69 Camaro I've ever been in. This thing has no shakes or rattles. Pretty amazing. It's a lot more fun from a violence and sound point of view. That's for sure. <laughs> at the end of the day, what are we going to sit back and look at the data and say? I'm going to predict that lighter weight and more power is going to prevail. Which means? Red Devil will win. We good? came off the track in the ZL1, he seemed pretty happy with the performance, but here's what's amazing. A few weeks before we were at Gingerman, Automobile Magazine was there with a driver who had actually been the 2007 Indy Lights Championship, and that guy ran a 144.53 in the ZL1. 
but today Stilo laid down a 142.05. That's way quicker. He's pretty sure that that is the quickest lap time around Gingerman ever in a brand new ZL1. Okay, you ready? Yeah, wish I hadn't quite uh, put such a good lap time down on the ZL1. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with it. <laughs> well, let's see what you can do. All right. It. He told us that the Red Devil was going to be quicker, and it was. He ran a 139.5, about two and a half seconds faster around Gingerman than the ZL1. But the thing that we looked at in our VBOX data, which shows us a plot of acceleration at points all the way around the track, is that both cars hung right with each other in the corners. They pulled the same lateral Gs at about the same speeds. But what happened is that the lighter Red Devil with more horsepower just simply outran the ZL1 in the straightaways. So what did we learn today, aside from the fact that we get paid to play with Camaros on racetracks, which is actually pretty bitchin'? I think the takeaway here is it's really, really impressive that Chevrolet is making a brand new car that for 55 grand almost runs right with an old muscle car that's been hot rodded to a level that is at the very top of its field. Man, is it awe-inspiring. You can take an old muscle car bolt-on Detroit speed suspension, put in a late model engine and transmission, sort it out perfectly, and outrun the baddest that Chevrolet has to offer. In the Camaro platform anyway. Maybe we need to do this again with a Corvette. This has been Hot Rod Unlimited. We've had a blast. Hope you have too.